At Onboard Dynamics, we've developed an integrated combustion and compressor package. This is the GoVac uh, Flex. The Flex can be used either as a compressor to compress natural gas into a vehicle or to evacuate pipelines either to a tube trailer or to a, another natural gas pipeline. The integrated combustion engine, we use one side of this V8 block for the combustion side, that is the power side. The other side of the engine is used for the compression. The compression is goes through four stages of compression in the same block. We share the crankshaft, so one side is powering, the other side is the side that's doing the compression. This is in a uh, crosshead design uh, compressor block where the pistons on the lower uh, portion of the engine are connected to the upper portion of the engine uh, of the compressor block. The four stages of compression come in at low pressure. Uh, this can come down to, in the GOVAC, down to zero PSI uh, for a maximum of 20 PSI inlet. We go through four stages of compression. The first state piston is about the size of a normal piston. The last fourth stage is about the size of your index finger. Um, we come in at 20, we come out at a maximum of 3600 PSI. The actual outlet pressure is based on whatever you're compressing to. So if you're coming from a pipe to pipe, you would compress out to whatever the pressure is in the pipe. If you have an 80 pound pipe or 100 pound pipe or 3600 pound pipe, you can compress out to that and that would be your final compression stage. In the four stages of compression, we can cool between each stage. The first two stages are done in flat plate uh, heat exchangers. The last uh, two stages, the high pressure stages, are done in tube and canister. There are two cooling circuits in the unit. The first uh, cooling circuit that you see is for the engine. That allows us to run the engine a little hotter. The other cooling circuit is actually for the head and for the cooling equipment. And we run that as close to ambient as we can. There are two tanks on the system. One of the tanks is a blowdown tank. The blowdown tank is used for the final compression portion. So when you stop compression, it actually takes all the pressure out of the compressor head, puts it into the blowdown tank. The blowdown tank then is used at the beginning of the next compression cycle and emptied. So there's no emission of methane to the atmosphere. It's all contained inside the unit. The other tank is our fuel tank. We, uh, we use this to run our engine and to power our engine. This is uh, kept at uh, at least 1,000 PSI. In the compression cycle, if we're coming from a pipe to pipe, let's say it's a low pressure pipe, 80 pounds to 80 pounds. In the compression cycle, when our tank gets down to 1,000 pounds, we would close our outlet valve, compress into our fuel tank, bring it up to 3,600 PSI, and then open the outlet valve to continue the evacuation process. The differences between our two products, the GoVac uh, Flex and the GoFlow, the GoVac Flex has um, a, a unit on the front. Let me walk around to the front. The gas train on the front consists of our, uh, our uh, pressure sensors, the uh, shutoff valves uh, for the inlet uh, portion of it, and our regulator. The regulator takes the inlet for a maximum of 200 PSI, or, uh, um, regulates it down to 20 PSI. Um, the fuel train on the front is a maximum of 200 PSI, like I said. If your pipeline is higher than that, or your source is higher than that, then you need to reg it down before that. Or you can talk to us and we can do a custom setup on the front end if your pipelines are uh, naturally higher than that. If you're at the, the 300 or 600 PSI is what we've normally seen, we put another regulator in line there uh, to, to cut that before it comes to our regulator. On the inlet side, we also have uh, metering. So we have a flow meter uh, on the inlet. We, we uh, measure all the gas that's being evacuated. This is recorded in the control system that's on the unit. The control system actually communicates up to the cloud, brings all this data up to the cloud, and then we can produce the reports for your evacuation and for your project uh, to show the, the gas that's been evacuated. On the outlet of the unit, uh, we have a 3 8 um, uh, swage lock fitting. Um, if you're coming out, we'll come out three, we come out with a 3 8 but if you're coming out to a larger pipeline, a 2 inch or something, you just connect off to that, come up to your 2 inch line and then run that out. The unit comes standard with an inch and a half hose, uh, 20 foot long uh, for the inlet and a 20 foot long 3 8 hose uh, for the outlet. 